every group of people that we talk or individual that we talk uh, is connected with how we uh, communicate. You know, with friends, we talk in a very informal way. Uh, with bosses, there is another way of talking. So now this is what you need to understand that there are five different ways of uh, communication. And I'm going to explain each one of them uh, separately. Verbal, nonverbal, written, visual, and listening. So there are five different, and this is what you need to understand that the art of your communication and you would like to convey your message effectively depends upon these five ways that you are going about with it. Verbal. Verbal is just you know the engagement that you are having, that is you're talking face to face where you listen to the person. It's not only you talking, you are listening to that, to that person also. Uh, other than the face-to-face -face communication, there's a telephone, like we are right now on Zoom, Skype. And uh, this type of communication uh, become very, very popular during the uh, pandemic. Then there is an informal uh, communication where there is a chat, uh, you know, dinner parties or a coffee or a coffee. And of course, there is uh, all kinds of uh, interviews and formal uh, communication. These are all verbal communication. And one of the best uh, way of the verbal communication is by telling stories. So all this that I'm telling you right now, and if I just convert it into stories, so you can, you will retain it. Uh, there's a, a very famous adage, which is uh, facts and figures tells, but the story sells. Stories remains in the people's mind. So book, can you imagine, is a, is a verbal communication. When I was doing research, I said, how can book be a, a, a verbal a communication? So the author who is writing that book, you know, his words are in such a way that he's, uh, you know, sharing it with his uh, or her readers. That is to say the message is about the story about that person. And that is what is in, is in his mind. And um, that's very interesting. You know, books and novels, they are all verbal communication. Now we come to the second part of the uh, type of communication is uh, nonverbal. And it is not what you are saying, but how you're saying. If you look at me, uh, I use uh, a lot of my you know, uh, verbal uh, uh, actions in, in order to convey uh, uh, my way of communication. So you, you need to observe people, you know, uh, and, and, and you form an opinion about that person. And that is facial expression. Now, smile, you don't have to say anything. You just smile. And uh, that gives a positivity. That, is, that gives the other person that this person, uh, you know, is open to uh, talk. Posture, you know, the way I'm sitting right now. And if I just slouch myself or, you know, I am not so, while I'm talking, if my posture is uh, so that the person understand that this person is really, if, if, if I sit at the edge of the, of the chair, if I'm talking to some, some person, the person understand that this person is serious eye contact. Now, a lot of people, you will see that they talk with their eyes down and the other person, you know, feels that well, why is he not looking at me? I mean, whatever the reason are, you need to look at the person um, with politeness, of course, not with arrogance. I mean, eye contact is giving uh, that bonding to the other person that you are, you are, you know, paying attention to it. Hand movements is one. And then the handshake and the touch, you know, they are two friends, uh, they, they will touch each other like that, or they'll pat uh, to each other. So these are all the verbal communication and the tone. The way I, I, I or somebody talks, I mean, uh, how are you? I mean, this is how you, we usually talk. But then if that same thing is with some life, with enthusiasm, that uh, how are you, my friend, or how are you, Ali? 
then uh, you know exactly that there is more to just how are you. And there is a study done. The interesting thing is that the words that you are saying, the impact it has is only 7%. 38% is the, the tone of your voice, the modulation, the pause that you give while you're talking. And 55% is your body movements, your face, your arm, all that. So if you add all, so you can see only 7% is the, in the communication is the impact of the words. Rest, 90 plus that we are having, 93 in fact, is uh, your body language, your tone. So this is, there is a rule, I mean, 7, 38, 55 rule, uh, which was uh, basically developed by Albert uh, Mehrab Bayan. He's a guy from University of California. And in 1971, he wrote a book uh, on this communication of emotions, uh, silent message. That was way back in 1971. So the third type of communication is called written. And when I say written, there are emails and letters and memos and contracts. These are all written uh, uh, communication and it is formal. Now, what you need to understand is written communication uh, is not all that effective and efficient as oral communication. Whatever there is a contract, it, it, it always ends in the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, verbal communication which is going on. Uh, the fourth is uh, called a visual uh, uh, communication. And that is the world is now flooded with all kinds of visual uh, especially with the onset of the uh, internet and social media. So we go out and we see advertisement and there's television, there is Facebook, there is news, YouTube. All this approximately 3000 uh, different types of messages are coming to us uh, visually. So we are you know, surrounded with all that thing and it is affecting us, by the way. The last and the most important out of all is listening. And that is one area, uh, if you go back today with some of these golden nuggets as to what is this listening and what are the different types of listening, uh, your life is gonna change. This is the ability to accurately receive and interpret the message uh, while the other person is talking. And the key to the effective communication is in listening. And without the ability to listen efficiently, message that uh, you are listening, it will be misunderstood. So you need to listen um, a very, in a focused way. So there are two types of listening inactive listening and active listening. And when I was again trying to find out as to uh, what is this inactive listening, which most of us uh, do, that is we are listening to the person to answer uh, to what that person is saying, not to understand what the other person is saying. And people usually, uh, they interrupt uh, and they try to uh, put in their views while the other person is talking. And this I've seen so many, many times. So the percentage of inactive listening, this is the data, the study has been done. 90% of us are inactive listener. Only 10% are active listener and they get the best of out of the communication. So if you would like to really, really have an effective communication, you need to be an active listener. And first and foremost says that your attention has to be undivided. It has to be fully with that person. The person should feel the vibe, the speaker who's talking, 
should see that you are listening. And all those uh, nonverbal, your eye contact, your body language all speaks a lot about that. So talking less, listening more, and while the person is, is uh, talking, you are doing active listening. So you need to respond by not, by yes, not trying to interrupt, but the other person should get uh, a feedback from your body language that you're listening and you just kind of, you know, just say yes. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, all the time interrupt it. So that is what you need to, you know, keep in mind that this speaker should get the vibe that you are hearing, him, you are listening to him. So tips for active listening. Focus on that person who is talking. Uh, Sometimes uh, what he's talking, uh, he would like to talk much more than what is actually the words that he's taking out. So that is what it said, reading in between the lines. So their thoughts and feelings. So once you give that, that full attention, you are an active uh, uh, listener. Look and pay attention to, the, to that non-verbal messages that the person is uh, with his hand, uh, with his tone and all that. So you get to that point where you understand 100%, even though those words which she's or she is not saying it. So active listener, you know, is involved and giving that complete attention to the speaker. So how do we go about with when the conversation is going on? This, uh, I teach people about the magic of asking questions. And the question that we have is a close question. That conversation is not going to go on for a long time. So if you say that, you know, what's your name? The person says, my name is so and so. So that is a closed ended question. If you would like to have the conversation going, this is where you need to focus is have a open ended question. I mean, if you would like to know about that person, just don't say that, you know, how's your job? What job you are doing? Tell me about you know, what's happening in your job. You get to know more. And from that uh, answer, you can have another open-ended question. So in order to have the conversation going, there should be both a closed-ended question as well as an open-ended question. And open-ended question, you know, tells more about the other person. And that is what the magic of asking question is all about. Now, earlier also I mentioned that it's all about the vibe, it's all about the feeling, it's all about the care. Can you listen from your heart? Now, if you look at that heart, it has got that spelling e heart, H-E-A-R-T. In the word itself is telling there is a ear, we have got a ear inside our heart. And that is called empathic, with empathy, with feelings uh, that you are listening. So this is the highest form, the most healing and soothing form of listening. Empathy. Demonstrate that you care about the other person. And it uses just not the ear, it, 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 it uses this where you are listening is your feeling, you are seeing and all the nonverbal uh, uh, cues which are, which are there. And this is my favorite, one of the favorite quotation of uh, Amaya Angelou. She said that people will forget what you said, what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 